Welcome to the No One Cares channel. It's your boy, Troy. I appreciate you tuning in. Comment, like, subscribe to the No One Cares channel. You know, in today's video, I want to talk about the breakup of Tiffany Haddish and Common. Now, they were dating and it was kind of low key for a while. And then all of a sudden it came about, you know, it became public that they were dating in this situation it seemed like common liked tiffany haddish more than she really liked him a lot of times modern women will just date a guy just to have somebody even if it's not necessarily the man that they desire they'll just date somebody so they won't be by themselves but you can only fake happiness for so long and then it explodes especially during a pandemic you know um pandemics make or break relationships and what's came about lately is tiffany haddish has been disappointed about commons comments about their breakup and we're going to go into the article and then we're going to expound about it because i don't know if tiffany Haddish is trying to be ostentatious about the whole situation but she's saying a lot of parallax type statements things that contradicts one another into the reasons on why they broke up and why she's happy and why she's mad she's going back and forth about it but we're going to go into why most modern women's thinking is untenable because usually When, there, when there's a breakup and there's an excuse about both parties working too much, it's usually a woman having a disciplinary issue. She's not adjusting to the man. Men are workhorses. Men grind. That's a man's job. And a lot of times you have women like Tiffany Haddish that refuse to mold to a man. They refuse to connect with a strong masculine guy and they choose their job over a man but there's no replacing a man a pet won't replace a man kids won't replace a man there's no replacing a real man women have like a dichotomy of feelings when it comes to a job and a man they feel like a job is going to replace a man they feel like having a job is more important than having a man. But a lot of times women don't realize that a man is more important until it's too late, until they've already peaked, until they've already hit the wall and they're no longer coachable. So let's get to the article and then let's break this down on why Tiffany Haddish is feeling a little bit salty about the breakup it says tiffany haddish seems a bit salty over her and common's breakup the night school star said in a new interview that she was disappointed by the rapper's public comments about their split as they didn't align with what he told her in private it says i was disappointed she said on fox souls hollywood unlocked uncensored with jason lee i was very disappointed i was like oh okay because that's not what you told me but okay and lee pointed out that the john wick chapter two actor appears to be the common denominator common denominator in his failed relationships with women his exes include taraji p henson which is she's still single serena williams which she's having ups and downs in her marriage and then haddish his last ex it says he might be the type of person that really never settles down with somebody maybe he's like you know like a bee going from flower to flower she said i don't know i wish him nothing but joy and happiness you know he will always be cool the girl's trip star admitted she was fine with the relationship ending because she's being presented with a new opportunity. And this is the thing, you know, a lot of women play the field too long. They, you know, they tend to hop from man to man thinking there's going to be a better option. And then they'll say, 
I'm being presented with a new opportunity. Tiffany Haddish, she's going to interact with a higher tier of man than your average woman. But the problem with most of your women who earn a good living is that they have high standards, very high standards. And what happens is they'll meet a they'll meet a guy, they'll meet a good guy, but he's either too much into his job, into providing, protecting, being strong, masculine, handling his business, being focused on what he's got to do, got to get done, and not enough focused on her to where she doesn't feel important enough, or women like Tiffany Haddish. They'll get a guy that does put her first, that focuses on her and what she wants and what she needs and there for her every need. And then she doesn't like him because he's too soft. So women fail to get with a good guy based on logical thinking. They usually have too too many emotions to choose. They they they, they, they think with their emotions. They allow their emotions to choose the next man. But the problem with that is one day you feel this way and one day you feel that way. That's why you have to be a logical thinker when it comes to choosing your mate. And too many of our women, they don't use their logic. They use their emotions. And a lot of young women, they choose that guy that gave them the most fun, that had the best sex. They chose that guy in their younger years. And then as they got older, they needed a guy that can perform. They needed a guy that can get the job done. But that was the guy that they overlooked when they were younger. So a lot of women in their younger years, they just wanted to be ostentatious. Right. They wanted the most handsome guy. Now they're suffering an economy. It's it's pretty rough right now. So most modern women's thinking is untainable. You, you, you can't defend it. The way they think nowadays, they can't win. And most women are not winning. Most women are single and by themselves. It says, back to the article, I miss him. I miss him from time to time. But that's with, I think, any intimate relationship that you might have. You miss them. She shared, but I'm fine with it. It's cool. So she says she's fine with it, but then she's complaining about Common's explanation to a podcast about why they broke up. He didn't say anything mean, anything bad, but she's complaining about it, saying that wasn't the same reason that he gave her. It says, when asked whether she would date another famous man, Haddish quipped, I would F one. Earlier this month, Common said on the same podcast that he and the comedian broke up in November because of their busy schedules prevented them from feeding the relationship. But he noted they both cherished and valued their time together. So Common has said a few positive things, but Tiffany Haddish is she's not feeling good about this breakup. You know, uh, what really made me think a lot, you know, when it came to this um, situation is about females man about how their brain works they don't women don't have a lot of propriety around them women keep women single and women usually keep women around them that want to keep them single so there's not many good examples on how to keep a man and what a man really likes and what a man really needs and how a woman should behave or perform there's not many examples of that for our modern women that's why they are constantly trying to find you know this type of guy and 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 they they just play the field too long until it's too late she's 42 she's on the decline she's on the decline she's 42 and the thing about women is they like i say they talk about a they have other options but as women get older, their interactions change. I mean, when they were younger, they get benefits with sex. They get some type of tangibles. They get sex and a gift. They get sex and uh, a date with rewards. As women get older, that stuff goes away. Now, Tiffany Haddish, since she's a, you know, somewhat famous, it's going to last a little bit longer for her, but even for her, 
the benefits will start to decline and they probably already have that's why she's feeling bad about this breakup just think about it if tiffany haddish was really happy she wouldn't give a damn about what common is saying as long as he's not disrespecting she wouldn't give a damn but the thing about it is women don't really wake up until that phone stops ringing from real man from real man when that phone stops ringing that's when they start to really realize that the options that they used to have are not really there. And for her to say that common's a common denominator when she, most of his exes are in bad situations or not a relationship at all, common will be just fine. But if you're trying to find another common Tiffany Haddish, that's going to be a bit of a problem because like you said, you'll be able to F one, but to keep one, to have one of those guys really want to be with you and take care of you, ah, that's going to be a little bit more difficult. And you're just going down the path of a modern single woman in today's society. There's not really many options out there for women over shit, over 30. It's not really many options. The best advice I would say for tiffany haddish and most of our modern women is to get in where you fit in and don't be a disciplinary problem get in where you fit in it's not enough man out there that you like that's going to satisfy what you want there's not many at all but you're not going to be able to put your job over the type of man that you want you're not going to be able to call the shots for the type of man that you want. You're going to have to mold to him. You can't have a strong man, a strong masculine man in one manner, but then want to run the show in another manner. You can't be chopping it up. The type of man you want is going to want to call up the shots, is, want to, is going to want to run the show. And as long as you are putting your career before finding a man, you're just going to be a side chick. And that's just something that Tiffany Haddish is going to have to get over. That's why Tiffany Haddish is still unhappy after the breakup. Still unhappy because feeling Common's Shoes is going to be a lot harder than common feeling your shoes. I appreciate you guys tuning in to the No One Cares channel. Remember, no one gives a damn. And that goes for Tiffany Haddish. She's going to be out here playing the field too long. Looks like she already really has. She's 42. She's hit the wall. Her her uh, beauty is on the decline. I mean, if she had any... I mean, to me, she's borderline average. She's already on the decline and she's unhappy. And Common's already moved on because man incline after the age of 35 and Common doesn't have to put up with the bullshit. I appreciate y'all tuning in to the No One Cares channel. Remember, until you change your mindset, no one cares, but just no one cares. And he wants you to become the best version of yourself. I'm out.